Most drivers think changing an air filter is easy. Just take the old one out and put in a new one. But what if I told you doing it the wrong way can actually reduce your car's power, waste fuel, and even shorten your engine's life? Here's the surprising truth. In lab tests on 30 modern engines from Toyota, Ford, and BMW, more than 70% of drivers who replaced their air filters themselves ended up hurting engine performance. And it wasn't because the filters were bad, it was because of how they were installed. Stay till the end because I'll show you the biggest mistake 9 out of 10 people make when replacing air filters and a trick professionals use to improve airflow without breaking your warranty. Section 1. How modern air filters really work and why it's not just about clean or dirty. Most people think air filters only keep out dust, but actually they control how air flows into your engine. Modern filters, especially on cars with mass airflow sensors, are built to balance clean air and proper airflow speed. If the filter blocks too much air, your engine struggles to breathe. If it allows too much, tiny dirt particles get in and cause wear. In fact, a slightly used air filter often works better than a new one. That's because a thin layer of trapped dust helps catch more dirt, improving efficiency. According to a car and driver test, a car with a 3,000-mile used filter had the same horsepower and better fuel economy than one with a brand new filter. So replacing your filter too soon isn't extra care, it's wasting money and performance. Section 2. Common mistake number 1. Installing the filter backwards. Sounds silly, right? But it's actually one of the most common mistakes. Air filters are directional, meaning they have a correct front and back side. One side usually has a mesh or ribs to handle incoming air pressure. If you install it backwards, the filter collapses, bends, and leaves gaps around the edges, letting dust slip through. Those gaps act like tiny sound blasters inside your intake system. A longtime Ford technician said, every third intake rebuild I do comes from dust damage caused by bad filter installation, not bad oil. The lesson, always check for arrows or airflow markings on the filter. If there are none, remember the side with the mesh should face the air intake. Section three, common mistake number two, using oiled cotton filters without cleaning the sensors. You've seen them. Shiny aftermarket filters that promise more power and better sound. They do increase airflow, but there's a catch. The oil coating can release tiny droplets that stick to your MAF sensor, the part that measures how much air goes into the engine. Once the MAF gets dirty, your car's computer reads the wrong data, sending too much or too little fuel. That causes rough idling, poor fuel economy, and sometimes even a check engine light. A Toyota report even warns that MAF damage from oiled filters isn't covered by warranty. If you use an oiled filter, clean your MAF sensor every 6,000 to 10,000 miles with proper sensor cleaner. Never brake cleaner, carb cleaner, or WD-40, or compressed air. Otherwise, your $60 performance upgrade could turn into a $400 repair. Section 4. Common mistake number 3. Forgetting to clean the air box. Here's a secret that most people don't know, but mechanics use it to spot careless filter changes right away. Whenever you replace an air filter, look inside the air box, that plastic case that holds the filter. If it's dusty, you've already made a mistake, because when you put a new filter into a dirty air box, all that loose dust and sand gets sucked right back in, instantly making your clean filter dirty again. Professional mechanics always use a shop vacuum or compressed air to clean the air box before installing a new filter. This simple step can make your filter last 25 to 30% longer, according to Bosch maintenance studies. So next time, before you close the lid, take one minute to clean it. You're not just replacing a filter, you're protecting your entire air system. Section 5. Common mistake number 4. Not sealing the edges properly. Even the best filter won't protect your engine if it's not fitted the right way. This is especially important for snap lid air boxes found in newer cars. If the rubber seal around the filter isn't pressed evenly, air can leak through the sides. And here's the scary part, you'll never see that dirt because it bypasses the filter and goes straight into your throttle body. A veteran GM engineer once said, I'd rather see a dirty filter installed correctly than a clean one installed wrong. The fix is simple, before closing the clips or screws, run your finger around the seal to make sure it's flat and even. If one corner feels loose, reopen it and fit it again. This two second habit can save your engine from serious damage. Section six, common mistake number five, forgetting to clean the cabin air filters. Yes, they affect your engine's health too. This one surprises most people. Your cabin air filter isn't just for the air you breathe, it also affects how air moves through your engine system. In most modern cars, the HVAC and intake system share a partial vacuum zone. 
When your cabin air filter gets clogged, it increases pressure resistance and reduces the efficiency of the overall airflow. In fact, a Hyundai service bulletin explains that old or clogged cabin air filters can cause rough idling and wrong MAF readings in some miles. You should replace your cabin air filter every 12,000 to 15,000 miles, not only for cleaner air inside, but also to help your engine breathe better. Section 7. The correct way to check an air filter without removing it. Here's a mechanics trick. Don't touch your air filter unless necessary. Constantly taking it out and putting it back in can damage the seals and let dirt in. Instead, use a bright light flashlight and shine it from behind the filter. If you can see a faint light glowing through the pleats, the filter's still fine. But if no light passes through and it looks dark, it's time for a replacement. This method is quick, accurate, and keeps your filter safe from unnecessary handling. Section 8. The right type of filter for your driving style. Let's talk about something most people never think about. Choosing the right air filter for how you drive. Not all filters are the same. There are three main types used in cars today. Paper cellulose filters, cheap, disposable, and very efficient. Synthetic foam or fiber blend filters, better airflow, but only moderate dust protection. And performance cotton or oiled filters. They allow high airflow, but need careful maintenance. Here's what most manufacturers don't tell you. If you usually drive in cities or dusty areas, a good quality paper filter will work better than a high flow oiled one every time. Why? Because paper filters catch smaller dirt particles and keep working well even as they get dirty. But if you often drive on open highways or in performance conditions where the engine needs more air at high RPMs, a synthetic or dry cotton filter can slightly improve throttle response. Experts from K&N Engineering and Bosch Automotive both say there's no single best filter, only the one that fits your driving environment and engine type. So before believing the hype, ask yourself, where do you drive? How often do you accelerate hard? And how often do you clean your filter? Because your filter should suit your driving, not someone else's car. Section 9. The Hidden Danger – MAF Sensor Damage from Cleaning Products Now let's talk about what you should never do when cleaning. Many drivers try to help their engines by spraying brake cleaner, carb cleaner, or WD-40 near the intake area. That's a huge mistake. These chemicals are too strong and can destroy the thin platinum or nickel layer inside your MAF sensor. Once it's damaged, the sensor will always give wrong readings and no mechanic can fix it. It must be replaced. If you ever need to clean your MAF sensor, always use a special MAF sensor cleaner. It's made to dry quickly without leaving any residue. Just spray a few times, let it dry for 10 minutes, and reinstall. That $8 cleaner can save you from a $400 repair and keep your fuel system running correctly. Section 10. How to clean a reusable filter the right way. If you use a reusable filter like K&N or AEM, cleaning it the wrong way is worse than not cleaning it at all. Here's how to do it right. Gently tap out loose dirt. Never hit the filter. Spray the cleaner from the clean side outward so dirt gets pushed away, not deeper in. Let it sip for 10 minutes. Don't scrub it. Rinse it from the inside out using low pressure water. Let it air dry completely. Never use sunlight or a heat gun. Then re-oil it lightly and evenly. Too much oil can damage sensors. Done properly, this method safely restores performance and keeps the filter's fine fibers intact. A reusable filter cleaned correctly can last up to 500,000 miles, nearly the life of the car. Section 11. Bonus. The zero-cost trick to improve airflow instantly. Here's a free mechanics tip that only takes two minutes. Most cars have a small resonator box or silencer tube between the air filter and the throttle body. Its purpose is to reduce intake noise, but over time, it collects dust and oil vapors that can block airflow. Just remove the intake hose, wipe the inside of that box with a microfiber towel, and put it back. You'll instantly make the airflow smoother and improve throttle response without changing any parts. Think of it as your car's breathing exercise. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever felt a difference in performance after changing your air filter? Whether good or bad, share your story in the comments below. Let's find out how many of us have been doing it wrong all this time.